What's going on, fam bam? This is Tay Noonzy back at it again, chilling in the man cave as usual. Shout out to Big Mel for the fire beats. You already know what it is. And shout out to the fam bam for supporting. And speaking of that, be sure to check out my last video that I did about the uh, fight at the airport. That's pretty much my first viral video, man. It, it got almost, almost 10,000 views, man. I appreciate everyone. Just make sure y'all hit that like and subscribe next time, okay? Let's make sure we do it on this one. All right? Like, subscribe, and share. But anyway, as you see the video just playing, this one is about some officers who uh, was doing a bus for these guys that's riding their motorcycles in Florida, allegedly. And they had the air chopper, you know, flying around trying to locate them and then they contact ground units and the ground units pop up and I guess they corner off one of the guys at a gas station and the officers is like playing hide and seek it's it's, it's real funny I mean you look at it you see them at the gas station the, the one body cam image that we do have and basically they run up on the guy while he's on his bike just finished pumping gas and they throw them all over the place. It, it, I don't even know how many officers it was. It looked like it was about five or six of them, but they wasn't in sync at all. I mean, one was grabbing the left arm, one was grabbing the right arm, one was grabbing the back of the guy's helmet, one was grabbing the front of the guy's helmet. And, and then the one that, that we see the camera view from, he decided he want to get in on it. He seen, we seeing punches thrown, all type of stuff. And he like, oh, let me get in this. Get on the ground, get on the fucking ground. Come on, spread them, stop resisting, stop fucking resisting. And then he he decide, okay, let me give him a little bit of this taser. At the gas station, gave him some taser, and the taser ignited up in, in flames uh, uh, the gas that was already spilled around the ground. And as you can see on a still shot here, <laughs> you see the flames that did ignite on the officer. And you can also see uh, another officer who's running away with his shoes on fire. So <laughs> I, that reminded me of that movie. What is that? Is it Nothing to Lose? I think it was Nothing to Lose with Martin. When when uh, the other, uh, that wasn't Charlie Sheen. I, I always get Money Talks and, and Nothing to Lose mixed up. It wasn't Money Talks because that's Chris Tucker and Charlie Sheen. It's, it's nothing to lose with Martin and the other guy. Anyway, it was a scene where they was in the car 
they had just left the gas station some gas got on the guy's shoes and and uh it was a big old spider on his head and and, and mark was like there's a spider on your head he said man what kind of ghetto lingo is that he said no i'm talking like it's a real spider on your head dude got out the car started trying to get it all up out of it get the spider off of him and stepped on a book of matches and then his shoes was on fire just like that <laughs> anybody remember that scene <laughs> they, when they made their next pit stop walking into a store <laughs> his shoes was was still smoking and rubbery and the, and, the, and the teller was like you must be really fast that's what <laughs> that's what they said to this officer right here man only reason why I'm making a light of it nobody died now the officer who did if I'm not mistaken that did initially do this I think he suffered second or third degree burns and he might still be in the hospital but they just did an update not too long ago he will be charged for i think neglect like he 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 wasn't thinking straight like what's the point why would you why would you activate your taser at a gas station you know you just knocked over dude bike it, it was just uh, it was all over the place y'all y'all gotta check it out again going back to the beginning and look at the video again he was real tough and it would, would make it even funnier how tough he sounded. He went from being extremely tough to screaming for his life. Y'all, y'all, did y'all catch that? He went from screaming, "Get on the ground! Get on the fucking ground! Stop resisting! Stop resisting!" Woof! Oh, save my life! Save my life! It's all over. <laughs> the other officers trying to pat him out. They can't. They can't get him up. Get the flame off of him. They like roll. Keep rolling! <laughs> Save me! Man, see that go to show right there. Not everybody's cut for the job. Alright? Not everybody is cut for the job. And yeah, he got hurt. And the officer's job is not hard, but I'm I mean it, it's not super easy. But I'ma say it like this though. In the light of what happened out there and in, uh, in Buffalo. I just find it very interesting that that there's officers that go extremely hard on something like some kids or some teenagers riding their bikes down the street and they think that that's unruly them riding their motorcycles and they treat him like he El Chapo but then you go to Buffalo where you got this this white supremacist hateful uh, uh, guy who's just out of his adolescent years full of hate full of testosterone blood still flowing and pumping from from shooting 13 people and killing 10 and it's like they had they had baby powder on their hands and they just relaxed and and relaxed him and massaged his back it didn't even look like they was frisking him it looked more like a massage like here here you go you know he definitely was way more of a threat he still had blood flowing from from the adrenaline from from killing people and he barely got any kind of force on him he didn't get any so I find that very interesting. And you know, those officers definitely was out of sync. They had no idea what they were doing. You can tell already. I, they was acting like you would have thought this was El Chapo or somebody. He, they over here playing hide and seek, hiding behind the pillars and shit. I wonder why they got flamed up. You know what I'm saying? In fact, that's what's going to be the name of the title of the, of the video. Um, Officer Bus goes up in flames when a doofus decides to use his taser at a gas station. I think that sounds great. How about y'all? Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about it, man. Shout out to Big Mel once again. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe to this video. This is Tay Noonzy. I'll holla at y'all on the next one. Peace out. What's up, fam bam? Do you or your children do this when you're charging your phone, costing you more money to replace yet another broken USB cable for your device? Well, your troubles are over with the Tay Nuzi magnetic USB cable. Unlike the conventional USB cable that will break or short out due to bending, the Tay Nuzi magnetic cable swivels to your needs. It even comes with three types of USB intakes that are detachable and can stay connected to your device. That way, you can charge each device interchangeably. The cables come with the Apple Lightning attachment, 
USB Type-C attachment, which is used for most modern Android devices, and a mini USB attachment for older Android devices and for other devices such as wireless keyboards, headsets, etc. You can go on eBay and type UPICM Essentials LLC to purchase your Tainuzi magnetic USB cable. Once again, that's on eBay. Type in UPICM Essentials LLC. That's UPICM. U-P-I-C-K-E-M-E-S-S-E-N-T-I-A-L-S-L-L-C on eBay.